So view of that. Yeah, just look at me. Okay, yeah. good. So Dwayne, uh, just start by stating your name. Uh, Dwayne Swear, D-W-A-Y-N-E, S-W-E-A-R. So uh, loosely, uh, uh, Special Agent Pride is based off of you. Yes, sir. It must be a strange feel. It, it's, it's, I'm touched. Uh, you know, you got a guy with that much history and, and talent uh, to uh, portray you in, in this role. It's, it's amazing. I, I, I am shocked. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a great honor. What did you first thought when you heard that Scott Bakula was going to play you? He needs to eat more. He needs more chins. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's not going to be close, you know. But, you know, I, I was touched. I mean, I knew him from uh, back in the days of watching uh, Quantum Leap and, uh, and Star Trek. And I said, wow, i got a captain represent me. <laughs> so um, how important is it that you're working on this project since this series is based off of you? Well, the, the cast, everyone is dedicated to depict the NCIS agents as accurate as possible. So I'm in a great job. I'm, it's a mentorship for me. I'm a, uh, I give them guidance on procedures and, and what uh, legal uh, aspects they have to consider. And they do every, everything they can to do that. Sometimes they'll even come with me to come to me and ask for a line. You know, what would be a line that you would use? And I would give them that just because in law enforcement, sometimes you uh, use some comic relief to get rid of the stress. And, uh, and you'll see some comic relief sometimes in the show. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's, I tell you, um, I'm so honored to be here and for them to turn to me uh, and, and have that mentorship, it, it's, it's amazing. And uh, to be a part of this team because the cast and crew are hardworking people. Um, could you give me an example of one time where you stepped in and said, okay, this isn't the way it happened in the real, real world? Well, actually, it, ha it doesn't happen on the set. It happens in writings. Uh, I'm blessed enough to get there uh, original concepts, which may be a one or two page, and then from there we address it um, and basically try to give them some guidance. Says, okay, this is the procedures we'll use. If they come in and say we're going to have this kind of situation, I would take the time to say, okay, this is what we would do A through Z, uh, just to give them help in developing dialogue. Uh, all it is is just an advice. Um, if they come in to where, where we want to do it this way, then I try to make it to where not stifling their creative licensing or creative idea, but to try to make it fit so it would make sense to the audience who has some law enforcement experience and try to make it as real as possible. Is there any example that comes to mind? No, I mean, it, it happens all the time because yeah. the writers aren't military. Um, they have a lot of experience in, in crime story writing but they may not have the experience in dealing with the military and dealing with the, the federal statutes and all. So, um, but it's a very easy transition. There's no, there's no, we're gonna stand here and stand our ground. It's, I understand what they're trying to do and I, I, then I don't want to stifle their creative uh, thoughts. So I facilitate it. What do you think you bring to the show that the uh, average viewer would notice was missing if you weren't a part of it? Well, you know, being from New Orleans, I'm very familiar with the city, and it's, the, the New Orleans is a character in itself. You can't replicate this city. Uh, what I try to bring is make sure they pronounce the city streets, how we pronounce them, not what they're supposed to be in the real world. Uh, I try to bring some originality to the characters as far as making it be convincing that they're from here. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing when you, you sit down and like, uh, Agent Pride is a cook, I'm a cook. You know, and we have a lot of parallels. So we, uh, you know, we do a lot of things to uh, represent the city and represent really the whole area as best we can. Um, we are ventured out a little bit. You know, we're going to be trying to go through the Gulf Coast and because we're supposed to carry the uh, mission from Pensacola, actually from the Panhandle of Florida all the way to Texas. So we're venturing out. You know, it takes time to get that done, but the city is what people want to see. You know, and it's kind of difficult when you get the phone call says, you know that wasn't a third ward, I know, but it goes with the story, okay? We're trying to tell a story here. It's to understand the story, not the, the geographic locations, which may not be correct, and somebody thinks it's a blooper. It's not a blooper. It's just because of the uh, artistry going on and, and the storytelling. Right. So. Um, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. could you have ever dreamed that you would be in this position that you're in now? Not even a thought. Not even a thought. I mean, I just shared with uh, some of the other crews that uh, my wife is in journalism. Uh, she graduated from LSU in journalism, and this was her career. 
uh, I'm just a cop, <laughs> you know, and it just landed in my lap, you know, and, and we talk about that all the time and just laugh about it, you know, it's like, and uh, so, it, it, but she she comes on set and every now and then she's an extra, so it's, it's, it's kind of funny, but she, she helps me out a great deal, and it's understanding, because it's a, it's a f tremendous operation, and understand each role, you know, she's my interpreter. <laughs> Um, talking about the streets, can you remember some of the streets that uh, someone not from New Orleans would say? Oh, it's way? easy. It's easy. Okay. For instance, uh, uh, somebody not from New Orleans would pronounce uh, Burgundy, but we pronounce it Burgundy. It's just something different, you know. Or most of us down here know how to spell Chapatulas, you know. So it's just those little things that, you know, uh, uh, Calliope, really, we say Calio. So it's just something that we do. It's, just, it's not saying it's correct. It's, you're not from New Orleans. You have to understand. You know, so that's what we, some of the some of the cuisine we eat. You know, if it flies across through the ditch, we gonna cook it. <laughs> Look, if you go to the zoo, man, and especially down here, they have the scientific name for the animal and a recipe next to it. Okay. <laughs> so I love it. Okay. Um, is there a way to get a two shot from here, or no? We're gonna do a walk.